There are five ways to create sheet metal parts. Base flanges, sweat flanges, lofted bends, insert bends from flats, but today we're going to use the convert to sheet metal method specifically for imported geometries such as step and IGES files so we can get a flat pattern for manufacturing. SOLIDWORKS has a rip command for preparing a solid for the conversion. Corners and sketches can be rip lines for adding gaps into a part for unfolding. These are added first to the model. After the part is ripped, you can actually use the techniques from the insert bends functionality to form the flanges. This technique first figures out the flat pattern and bend locations and then reapplies the calculation to form the part up properly. Once the part is converted and saved into a SOLIDWORKS part, you can use the normal sheet metal functionality as though it were a native part. For rolled parts, the process is similar. The dumb solid will need a split in the geometry with some angle of rotation removed. In this example, we use one degree. Another technique to use if the part was not a sheet metal part is the convert to sheet metal command. This will turn any solid into a sheet metal part forcibly by adding rips, bend edges, and gauge parameters all in one go. This technique is great to use on volume enclosures and parts that need a tight fit. The convert method is also very popular on complicated flanges and shapes within the sheet metal world. Sometimes you are better off starting with the finished shape as a solid and then converting it into sheet metal later. Sometimes tooling is a limitation and you can't form a shape up in real life that SOLIDWORKS can. So multi-body parts using this method are especially useful. Splitting a sheet metal part when the cut size won't fit on a stock sheet is another example. You can also pattern a multi-body and create an opposite hand version of the original part. Hopefully this rundown of sheet metal will help you convert your non-native files into usable SOLIDWORKS parts. Thank you for watching TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays.